What's going on everybody? I'm just getting home from LA. We went to Fullerton to go drop off for CPS. Currently I'm on the five right now. I just passed Stockdale not that long ago. On today's video, I kind of want to touch on a topic that I get asked a lot. If getting a class A is worth it, right? My honest opinion is yes. If you could get your class A, go for it. I understand it's kind of pricey. It kind of ranges from, you know, 2000 to 4000 $6,000. Just depends where you go. But one thing that's good about it is you don't have to pay out of pocket all the time. There's programs that can help you get your license, find a job, and you don't have to pay a penny back. For example, me, I didn't pay out of pocket. I got assistance from a program named Proteus, Proteus. They provided me with the school, with the funds, with gas money every week. When I got my license, they provided me with $200 for clothes, boots, whatever I needed for work. And then they were still giving me gas money to go look for jobs and everything. The thing they require from you is to stay employed for one year. If you could keep a job for one year, you don't have to pay nothing back. But if you don't, then you have to reimburse them their money, you know? A lot of people might come in here, oh, I want to be a truck driver. It looks like easy money. All you do is sit around and drive. But if you're not mentally prepared to drive for long hours, sometimes all day, the night, like, like it could really, you really mess with your head mentally. You have to manage the time. If you have like two or three hours to spare, sleep, because if you don't sleep, you'll get tired while you're driving. It's very hard mentally, I'm not gonna lie. Right now, loads are not at their greatest. I didn't really have to struggle to look for a job. My brother Abraham, the one that I drive right now, this is his truck, I'm driving for him right now. My older brother has his own truck, he drives that one himself. And I have my own truck, it's that red one that you guys see all the time. You know, the one I call Big Red. My driver actually calls him Clipper. A lot of people tell me, why don't I just drive my own truck? If I could keep him as a driver, and I get another truck, I could get on that one. If I didn't get him as a driver, I would start driving my own truck right now. And if I wanted to get another one, I would have to look for a driver. So I'd rather get my driver, have him drive, and then later on, if I get another truck, and I don't have to worry about finding a driver when I could just get on it myself. Down the road, if I want to get my third truck, I could look for a driver before I get my third truck. If I find one that, you know, looks promising, I'll put him on the, I'll put him on my second truck to drive. Then I could get my third truck and hop on that one myself. Another reason to get your class A, if you get your own truck and you're able to find a driver for him, you're already making passive income. That was my goal when I first got my class A. I wanted to get a driver so I could make passive income. I knew from the get-go I wasn't gonna stop driving because it wasn't gonna be enough, but it gave me a little bit of wiggle room to save a little bit more money. And that's exactly what I'm not doing. I'm wasting more money. <laughs> the truck gets paid for, insurance gets paid for. When I got my license back in May, I did not expect to get a truck as fast as I did. And that's what I'm saying, like, get your class A. Think about it as a great opportunity where you could actually build wealth for yourself. It's easy to get your truck, to get the equipment. It's very, very difficult to get a responsible truck driver that's willing to, to work for you, you know? But other than that, like, honestly, if you're really debating about getting your class A or not, just get it. It doesn't hurt. If you don't want to be a truck driver, at least you have your class A and you're racking up years of experience even without driving. So whenever you want to go back on the field and you're under the age that they require or the years of experience that you know they require the insurance so it won't be too expensive, you could have multiple years of experience without even driving a truck. Is that the smart way to do it? Of course not. Just give it a shot because I remember when I was, actually last year, before I even got my license, 
I remember I would tell my brother, oh hell no, I, I'm never gonna be a truck driver. I don't know, I would literally just tell him I did not wanna be a truck driver. I didn't wanna drive trucks. I didn't wanna know nothing about trucks. All right, so I'm home. I didn't realize my camera died in the last clip. But let me finish what I was trying to say. One time he told me, yo, just come with me so you can see how it's like. I'm gonna pay you this much and see if you like it. If you don't, I'll go and see what it's like. The day that I went with him, he was like, you wanna drive back home so you know, so you can see how it's like and everything. And I drove on the five. And honestly, after that, like, I just wanted to keep driving. And yeah, so like I said before, just get your class A. It doesn't hurt. If you don't want to be a truck driver, it's fine. Continue your job. Later down the road, if you want to drive a truck, you already have your class A. You don't have to worry about starting literally from the beginning. Like, just start now. Super cool. You're able to travel a lot, see new places. Do I recommend getting your class A? Of course. But with that being said, though, you know, let me know if you want me to touch on the topic. This was just like a little talk with you guys. I trip out, trip out. I stopped right here on the 156 to get fruta. But have you guys ever seen Tosti Locos this big? Trip out, trip out, let me show you. They're massive. Like, I've never seen one this big. You guys, I'm gonna have to eat it. You guys are gonna see right now. Go big or go home, trip out. This shit is fucking massive. No. The essentials. The essentials.